Recently, I've actually been pretty intrigued by Dick's Sporting Goods. I had resold there like very early on when I started reselling because I do mostly like sporting goods stuff, fishing, hunting, that kind of gear. And I went in a couple of weeks ago when I was in Richmond, Virginia, I believe, and saw that they had a phenomenal after clearance deal where you got BOGO clearance if you bought five or more things. I think we're gonna add this to the series of trying new stores to resell. Last time I got kicked out, if you watched that video, we're either gonna call it Unicorn Finds, I think Jay mentioned that, I like Profit Anywhere, or First Time Flips. So vote down below A, Unicorn Hunting from Jay, B, Profit Anywhere for me or C first time finds. My goal for this series is to find stores where you can walk in and walk out an hour later with $100 of profit. Gonna have to snag my scanner real quick. And so the goal is gonna be to walk out of there by 904 with over $100 of profit. And because I go through everything on Scoutify too, I'm actually able to put my buy list in the store so we can actually look at what the exact potential profit will be. The problem is I'm pretty sure they close at nine o'clock so we're gonna have even less than an hour. And to be honest with you, one of the major reasons I'm going in is because I promised myself that for this month I would only resell while I'm filming and I really have to go to the bathroom. But if I go into Dick's, I gotta at least see if they got the goods. It's a little too much information, but that's what you bargain for in this channel. So let's see if we can make a hundred bucks of profit in less than an hour at Dick's. If you guys resell Dick's or have done so before and have any tips, leave them down below for me and the people. Yikes. So gotta be checked out and out of here within like 50 minutes. Gonna head to the bathroom real fast and then we'll head straight to the fishing section and see if they have that clearance deal. And then we'll just kind of meander through the rest of the store, see if they have any other clearance deal on stuff that I can sell. This one already looks good. $10 on a $40 original thing, but it is Atlanta Braves specific since we're in Atlanta. So I'll check on that in a second. Let's roll. All right, it's 8.15 now. If I can get to $170 of spend or be pretty sure I'm at $100 of profit, I'm gonna come over here and take a couple putts, but I don't have a lot of time. Dix is connected to like a Golf Galaxy, which I think they own as well. These are all BOGO crazy socks, $13, so they're actually $6.50. First item actually in the Golf Galaxy. Let's see what we're looking at. We got no items found. Okay, moving to the fishing section. This might be bad. They might not have a fishing section. I went to one Dix before that didn't have one when I was in line. Yeah, do you have the uh, fishing I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know how much that conversation you were able to hear, but they don't have a fishing section. They just sent it all to another branch that's like close by because they're connected to a field and stream, which I guess Dix also owns and they got all the golf stuff here. <sighs> okay, this is gonna become a lot harder. 43 minutes, I'm a lot less excited to resell, but we're gonna see if we can find some sales. Oh, and she said that they did that last week, so I'm literally a week late. Some bike stuff, originally, it's $1 off. No items found. Now we basically just gotta look for these red tags and hope that they're clearance enough or see if there's any other clearance section. Well, I guess let's head over to the those Atlanta Braves things to see if they're profitable at all. <laughs> doubt it. Okay, if these are profitable, I don't even know where to put them, but they're a hundred and something dollars off. These ones are like $80 off. The shipping alone will be too much, but I gotta check something. And... No items. No items on either. Camping stuff. This is more my speed. See some red tags? It's like, everything's like two bucks off here. Literally the only thing that I was excited for was the fishing section and they got rid of it. I almost don't even want to keep going, but I want to, I need to find like one thing at least now. Otherwise I just feel like a failure of a reseller walking out of here. Ooh, might actually be good. I'm wondering if they're just underpricing their knives. This is $15 here on clearance from 20. On Amazon though, you get back $25. So I might actually pick up a couple. The rank is super high though, 550,000. So I'm gonna go out to Scout IQ and check the keeper chart. If a rank is that high, I always go and check the keeper chart as well. On Scout IQ, it's pretty simple. You just go into the listing. We got a lot of sales. I would be competing with Amazon. Look at all those sales. And I am able to sell a new condition. I'm gonna pick up five or 10 of them. That's great. And if they don't sell, I honestly need a new knife. So I'll just keep it. I'm gonna need to grab someone though. I'm gonna scan the rest of those Gerbers. This might not be a failure of a trip after all. Crap, Carissa needs to get back in the van and she doesn't have a key. I gotta go meet her at the front real quick. I don't only have like 25 minutes left. I think that'll be a lot of profit. I mean, if I can buy 10 of those, that's $90 of profit right there alone. All right, key gone. Let's get back there and see if there's any other profitable knives. There's another one that was behind it on the same actual ring. Actually, this is a big tip. Let me show you. When you're looking at these, you gotta look at the UPCs, even if it's on the same one. This one ends in 6-1, which matches up here. So I know that's a $15 one. I know I can make one, two, three, four, five, five of them. So I'll make $45 here. And then here, this is a different UPC. This one ends in 7-4. That one, when you scan it, 31,000 rank, no one's on the list. Decent amount of sales on the Keepa chart, and it looks like the price from being up here was around $28. So if that's for the same price, 15 bucks, I should make like $5, which is comfortable if I'm the only one on the listing, and I can't raise the price to 35. So I gotta grab someone to ask about those prices. So let me scan through the rest of these knives just to make sure that I buy all the ones that I want. That one's 30 bucks, you only get back 15. Not a mistake. 12,000, $15 there. Yeah, $15. Okay, so maybe I found the ones that the underprice, which is great. All right, let's find someone to unlock this $45 profit at least. Not have a lot of time, 30 minutes till they close. I can't find anybody. Help unlocking some knives. And then I saw that there were two different ones on this. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. You vlogging? All right, we got five of these guys and three of these. Hopefully these will still be profitable. I'm gonna just put these in as 15. If I can't buy them, I won't buy them. Not bad, expecting to walk out of here with not a lot. I mean, I already got 
45 dollars a profit at least so what i'm doing is i'm just adding it to buy list in the store it's actually saved me so much time so if you have inventory lab, i'd at least give this a try and try to work it in your workflow so yeah just 14.99 times 5.9 just like that it's exactly what i was doing later so i might as well just do it now and then I'll scan up this guy real quick i haven't actually looked at what the camel 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 chart says my scanner has got to turn on because it's in auto shut off mode i'm really hoping these are 15 dollars as well camel 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 says it's gonna be 28 yeah exactly what i was saying on the keep it chart I like these knives. I kind of want to keep them for myself because I need a knife. I'm just going to put $34.99, see if I can get those sales, if I can get it for $15. And otherwise, I'll just price it down to $28 and still make 5 bucks. But grab all those. And so far, already, I think that's over $120 spent. Don't make this mistake. I put $35 for the buy cost and $15 for the sale. I would lose a lot of money. All right. I was wondering why it said $200 a buy cost instead of $120. $8.33. Let's keep it moving. All right. So we came over to the shirts. They don't actually have tags. So I can't even really scan them. I'm through the soccer stuff real quick. There's not a lot of goodies that I've been seeing. I don't like to enclose too much just because of the return rates, so I don't look through those unless it's like a last case scenario. Oh, there's something that might be on sale. Tennis rackets. Oh no, it says $100. Oh, it's 200 though. We'll see. 150 Probably not gonna be worth it for $17. 70% ROI. Not worth it at this stage in my business. Getting near the soccer stuff. This is more stuff for me right now, honestly. It's the thing. Gotta stick to stuff you know sometimes. Thought I knew fishing stuff in here, but there's no thing. Funnily, too, the only other thing that I was able to find was in the sports and outdoors category. Should I get some soccer balls for myself? Like this video for yes. Dislike this video for yes. Basically, whatever you do, the answer of me buying more soccer balls eventually will be yes. Some of my favorite finds before I've had $150 match balls at Ross for 10 bucks. Where is all the clear stuff? There's nothing on clear. Oh, here's some stuff. Okay, this is 12 was 16. I'm afraid I won't be able to sell this stuff, though, so let's see. Lizard skins, $12 here. I'm just gonna do it with the camera because it's easier for you guys to see. $12. I can sell it, though. That's a surprise. I didn't think I'd be able to sell it. 20 minutes till they close. I gotta find at least one more thing. Time lasts it up and really start hunting. I walked all through this cool stuff and they're so close to having good prices. That really big pile of stuff that I scanned was $25 each. They sell super, super well, but you only get back $26.58 right now. Even though you could potentially earn like maybe six or seven dollars on it, but that's still not even 25 or 30 percent. Oh, man, do I wish I could have sold those. I would have bought so many. Why so many? I'll buy stuff to sell other places. Better than I anticipated. The knives that I... Whoa, what the? It's just a soft tag, so we're good. But the knives that I really wanted to be $15, because they have a 30,000 rank with no one else on the listing, were only $12.98. So if I'm able to sell those for the $35 that I'm asking, which I think that I will, because the other knives are selling for like $33, we might be closer to my $100 than I thought. And if we're going by a rate of $100 per hour, I think we'll be there, because we only spent about 40 minutes sourcing total, because it's $8.53 right now. Also just realized I stole their card. I need to go take that back to them. But that's not the worst haul ever. $120 spent. I'm expecting profit will be at least $80, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's check it real quick on inventory lab. I got back to the van and Chris is on a phone call. So I stacked my laptop real quick. Let's chill in this parking space, hope nobody hits me, and look at how much profit we made. I definitely want to do this one hour kind of challenge thing again at another Dick's where there's actually fishing stuff so you can see what I meant. But I'm going to pull up inventory lab and let's head over into list and prep. Currently I have a lot of other inventory. So if we add this to this other batch right here, we're looking at our net profit already being from the inventory I have just in the rest of the van. $747.41, so we need that to say 847.41 for us to have made our $100. Since I used Inventory Lab, it's pretty easy. You just gotta go up to these three dots, import the buy list, and select the file that I had. Two items, and we didn't quite do it. We were right around the $80 mark, which is not bad. I think it's like 70% return on investment, pretty good ranks. They'll definitely sell based on what we saw on the Keep It charts. And even if they don't, I do need a knife. The last time we did this in this video, I did not make the goal either, but that's because they kicked me out. And in my last two Walmart challenges, I haven't hit my $100 per hour either, even though my hourly rates have probably been over $100 per hour I spent less than an hour sourcing. Oh boy, see you next time.